My name is Richard Salva, and I'm the author of this book, The Reincarnation of Abraham Lincoln. I got the idea for this book about 12 years ago when I was on a plane flight to the East Coast. Uh, I had an inspiration to write a book showing the connections between Abraham Lincoln and Charles Lindbergh. The idea for this book came from the words of a great master of yoga. His name is Paramahansa Yogananda. He's the author of the classic Autobiography of a Yogi. And about a dozen years ago, some words that Yogananda had said came to my mind. He had said that Abraham Lincoln had been an advanced Himalayan yogi in a past life and he was reborn as Charles Lindbergh. And suddenly the thought came to me, here were two men whose lives had been so deeply chronicled. So many details about their lives are known to us. Wouldn't it be interesting to study their lives, to see if there were any connections between the two men that would bear out what Yogananda had said? And also at this, that time, I had been practicing the deeper teachings of yoga for about 20 or 25 years. So I was going to look for those connections as well. So I started to study the books, the biographies, the histories of both men. And when I started, I didn't know what I would find. I thought I might find a few interesting connections. But what I found just floored me. It was really quite incredible. I ended up uncovering nearly 500 fascinating similarities and connections between Abraham Lincoln and Charles Lindbergh, and uh, hundreds of connections between both men and the ancient spiritual science of yoga. And these connections are not the same sort of connections that you and I might have, uh, being Americans living in this time and place, but they were very specific connections, and they had to do with every aspect of human life, from the physical to the mental, emotional, spiritual, everything that you can imagine happening in a lifetime, there was some sort of connection between Lincoln and Lindbergh. And so what I ended up uncovering was evidence in the pages of history for reincarnation, for past lives. But more than that, it's more than that, here's solid proof of reincarnation in history, is that all these connections that I was finding and when you have hundreds of connections, you really get a wide gamut of understanding of how reincarnation works. So when you read these stories from the life of Lincoln and then from the life of Lindbergh and see the connections between the two, you start to see the connections in your own life, between your own life and your own past lives. And I've received letters from people who've read this book and they've had the same experience where by reading this book, their eyes were opened suddenly they start to see the connections between this life and their past lives. And they, we realize that so many times in our, in our days, we have these little things happen and we say, oh, I wonder if that's connected with something that happened to me in the past, even though there's nothing in the past of this lifetime that I can connect it to. And, uh, but then we forget about it. But this book helps us to put it all together. And so it's really a window into our own past lives. It's not only about Lincoln and Lindbergh, it's about you and I. And finally, there's one other very fascinating insight that this book lends us, because we're talking about one of the greatest men in history, Abraham Lincoln. And this great man, according to Yogananda, had been an advanced Himalayan yogi in a past life. And there are hundreds of connections between Lincoln and the path of yoga. And what this shows us is that if you or I were to embrace a spiritual path very deeply, that we too can become great. Because in this book I have outlined Abraham Lincoln's past life path to greatness, that you or I could follow. Because the path of yoga is more than just yoga postures. It's a way of life. It's a way to grow spiritually. Uh, Patanjali, who designed yoga, uh, who wrote about yoga and the Yoga Sutras, what he did was he carried on the greatest experiment that man can do by going within and going as far and deep into his spirit and as high as he was able to reach. And by doing that and outlining exactly point by point and step by step his path to the highest enlightenment, 
He showed how all of us, no matter what our background, what our religious persuasion, what our spiritual background, we can all achieve that same height. And what happens to us when we achieve that height? Then we start to find that we become great spiritually. And when we are great spiritually, we can also do great things in the world. So this book has three things that it has to offer you. The first one is to show how reincarnation is shown in the pages of history. The second one is to show how your own past lives affect your current lifetime. And the third is to show you Abraham Lincoln's past life, Path to Greatness. I hope you will enjoy this book.